hello, my name is Amber and I'm a lab technician here at Therapy Fertility and today I'm going to go through what we do to bring a male patient in for a semen analysis. When you come in for a semen analysis you'll check in at reception and one of the receptionists will bring you to one of the pods where you wait here for someone in the lab team to greet you. Before we meet you we have your name already printed out on a pot so we'll just call your name, make sure it's a correct name and introduce ourselves and ask you to follow us. So we're outside of one of the sample rooms. So at this moment, I'll ask the male patient to confirm its full name and make sure that the spelling is correct that is printed on the pot. In addition to this, I'll ask him his date of birth and also his date of abstinence. Usually we would ask male patients to abstain for two to four days. I'll also confirm if the male patient has read his instructions prior to the appointment and if he has any questions, we're here to help. So once you've produced your sample in the pot, you'll place it into the biohazard bag and close it. And then we'll go over to yeah. the hatch here, where you'll place it in the hatch and pick up the phone and press here. Once you press the button, it's going to ring a phone that's inside our labs and a member of the lab team will come and answer the phone. They're just going to confirm a few details with you, similar to what we would have confirmed with you prior to the appointment. So they're going to confirm your full name and your date of birth, your days of absence, and also whether the sample is complete. So if there's any spillages, just please let the lab team know. Usually patients ask how long it'll take for the results to come back. For a semen analysis, the results will actually be posted that afternoon. For a DNA fragmentation test, it could take up to two to three weeks, so just keep an eye on your portal. At this point, you're free to leave, and if you're waiting for a partner, you can go back to reception and wait in the pods for them. If you have any other questions about semen analysis or male infertility in general, please leave a comment below.